name is Bamiku and today I want to talk about my experience taking CS50X. So around the end of June, I started taking this course and had recently completed it. So I thought about making a video on it to kind of, you know, mark the start of my programming journey. So my initial coding experience. I used to dislike coding. I studied interaction design back in Polytechnic where we learned about building websites. And we learned HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, a bit of SQL, and another language that I'm assuming is C Sharp, that is used in Unity. I think I learned HTML and CSS just fine, but I can't seem to understand JavaScript and the language used in Unity. We had to create a game in Unity, and my end product was, let's say, unusable. <laughs> Visual Basic and Game Maker Studios Game Maker Language GML. But sadly, I've got nothing to show after accidentally wiping out my hard drive containing my code. So that's kind of like my experience with coding before CS50. So CS50 is like an introduction course on programming. Yeah, I'll like provide a link about it down in the description. Yeah, because I think me explaining it would probably not do the course a lot of justice. Because it's a really good course, you know. So there are like 12 weeks in the course along with 10 problem sets and one final project. So there are like a few programming languages that were taught in the course. Week 0 was Scratch. Week 1 to 5 was C. Week 6 is Python. Week 7, SQL. Week 8 to 9 centers around HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Along with some frameworks that work with HTML. And week 10 talks about real world stuff yeah like the lesson title was cyber security so yeah very real world stuff and ends with the final project so honestly i gotta say i really learned a lot watching the lectures the lecturer showed how people in the past brought computers to life improving it to what we have today using it to run our devices and i think using scratch to get us to start with coding was a really good idea because it helped me simplify my thinking. Like, you know, don't overthink things. My first assignment was the Cat's Birthday Bash interactive that I uploaded the other time. You know, the really short video. I think it was like, I posted it two weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> so, so far among the languages, I think I prefer C the most. The feel of being in control of what's going on in the code makes me feel more at ease. I guess. But it could also be because most of the problem sets are done in C. So I had more practice using it. As for Python, I learned how you can do more things with it, as well as how simplified it is apart from C. I remember watching the lecturer show how all the problem sets that were done with many lines of code in C were done with only a few lines in Python, which is like, oh my gosh. I could just like do that with just that few lines i cannot believe it yeah but that happened so yeah maybe in the future i'll learn more in depth about python and as for the rest of the weeks they were each interesting in their own way a few frameworks i learned to use with html were flask and jinja as well as python actually <laughs> yeah and it was like the back end part of the website it was honestly fun learning how to use the frameworks in the HTML, and it really makes it more dynamic. SQL was also really fun. My favorite problem set, 50 bill. I remember watching the lecture and the lecturer asked, what's your favorite problem set? 
I couldn't remember what I said was my favorite problem set, but after doing 50 veil, I have concluded that that is my favorite problem set. It's like a detective case. Someone stole the CS50 duck. I feel like Detective Conan without the murder. <laughs> now moving to problem sets. At the start, they were like quite easy. But as the weeks go by, they start to get like a lot harder. And you gotta like think, you know? Sometimes you gotta think harder, but sometimes you gotta like not overthink and go back to basics. There were times where I would delete and redo the whole code to make sure I understand what I was doing. Honestly, there were like a few problem sets that had me stuck for like almost, I don't know, two weeks, two to three weeks. Yeah. But after I solved it, I would just kind of go, oh, it was actually that simple. And I was like thinking too hard. I'll say that problem sets really train my brain to think from different perspectives and to make use of the functions in the problem set. There was a problem set that I remember that was like stuck on for a while. It was a problem set in week 3. I remember I did not understand like how the values were stored in the array variable. I tried to ask like the AI duck for help but I still don't get it and decided to search around the internet for some answers. It was until I read comments from posts that were asking for help when I realized that the array was an integral variable. This time I was too hung up on the array part that I missed out the part that a variable was an integer. Another problem set in week 6. We gotta compare a set of values with another set of values. However, for some reason, the values will repeat 3 times. This wouldn't be like too much of an issue if they were not a wrong set of values that have duplicate numbers and the comparison will pass it as true. I remember being kind of frustrated and questioning why do the sets of values come out three times individually until I tried comparing them as sets instead of individual numbers and it worked oh my gosh <laughs> now those are some memorable moments I had from doing the problem sets and slowly completing all of them really built up my confidence and also a passion to learn more about coding. Now, after watching all the lectures and doing all the problem sets, comes the final project. And I feel like the hard part isn't coding the project, but, but deciding what kind of project I want to make. Like, the project brief is literally make whatever as long as it works and, you know, more functional than the problem sets. I took like a week to decide what to make. I was like, hmm, okay, I do want to make a game. But I thought maybe it would be more meaningful to use a language I've learned. Because like in the brief, they said, oh, you can make a game using the Lua language, like Love 2D, that one. Yeah. So I was like, you know, maybe I'll like, you know, use a language that I've learned in the course. So I was like, you know, what if I do a website? Because the last few problem sets we were doing were websites, you know? I feel like if I did a website, I would probably be just copy-pasting code from the problem sets that I did. Yeah. So after like reading some documentation and also like researching, I decided that I am going to do a command line program in C. Why? Because I have more practice in C. And you know, I can just code in one language. <laughs> yeah. Because you know, the website will probably need like, you know, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and all the other frameworks. Yeah. <laughs> and not just that. I want to create a game in terminal window. The terminal window. Yes. <laughs> oh, and also like, I recently watched the movie Tetris, which I really like, you know. Tetris in C, was it? I can't remember. But it was a really nice movie. I was like thinking about it for a while. And also my mom talked about how she learned how to make Pac-Man last time using Fortran 77. Fortran 77? Hopefully I'm saying it right. But yeah. So I was like, yep, I'm gonna make a maze game. And this is Cat Maze.
this is my final project. Honestly, hoping that this is, you know, CS50 worthy. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Yeah, so also this video is like separate from the one I submitted. So don't expect to find it anywhere else, okay? Yeah, and that is my experience doing CS50X. I do recommend you try it if you wanna. It's a really good course. And I couldn't sit through a two-hour lecture, not until CS50. That is how good it is. And so I shall end this video right here. My name is VamaQ. And this was CS50. Oh my gosh, it was like so trippy reading from a script. I hope this video goes okay.